<clears throat> this is the gate of heavenly purity. It's not the entrance to Forbidden City, which you might think if you're across the street in Tiananmen Square. There's the national flag where they do the sunrise, sunset uh, ceremony of raising the flag. And beyond it is the Martyr's Monument and then Mao's Mausoleum, which I did earlier today. Then I went over and did the Great uh, Hall of the People. And then went over and did the National Performance Art Center, Center for National Performing Center for the Arts, the NCPA, which you can't really see. It's a giant egg-shaped building. And now we're going to do uh, the Gate of Heavenly Purity, a potent symbol of national uh, nationalism in China. Mao's portrait there has been vandalized a couple times. And they were swap it out with uh, replacements from what I've read. It doesn't happen often. Last one was like uh, 2003 maybe. Journalist, I think, through Exit or something. Eggs filled with paint. But it's an important gate because that's where uh, Mao proclaimed the Republic in 1949, October 1st, Mao Zedong proclaimed the uh, PRC, People's Republic of China, after World War II and after driving Chiang Kai-shek to Taiwan. And I believe I can go up inside of it for a fee, like I did uh, yesterday at the Tiananmen Zhongyang Gate. Let's see, how many knobs are on this door? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 81, 81 knobs are on the gate. We're on the north-south axis of Beijing. So this gate would have only been accessed by the emperor. So we're walking through the imperial processional, processional way that the emperor would have exited the Forbidden City and Imperial City by now we're coming up on Forbidden City that's it up ahead there but I want to go up in the gate Let's see, where do I get, hello. Where do I get tickets from for the gate? Exit. Looks like the entrance is over this way. Gate, probably over this way. I see a booth that looks like a ticket booth. What's it say here about, there's a bunch of parks. Actually, no, that's not the entrance to uh, Forbidden City. So we've got several more parks. There's the Workers Palace and Junction Park. And then you get into Forbidden City, another six, 700 meters that way. It gets confusing with all the gates, one after another. Uh, no, thank you. I need a breath of, a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. So I can take my mask off. Tiananmen Gate Tower ticket office is around this way. I would have a tour guide after I've done all the touristy stuff myself, which sounds ironic, but I can't stand not doing things on my own the first time. That's when you have the sense of wonder and curiosity. <clears throat> the second time is when I need the motivation of a tour guide and I can ask him a lot of questions. Sometimes I wonder if I grew up rich, if I'd feel the opposite. I wouldn't want to do anything unless I was spoon-fed and led by the hand. 
Uh, I gotta put my bags away. Not another bag check. Christ almighty. With the money today I'm gonna spend in bag checks, I could have just, uh... <sighs> At least the line's not insanely long. Let's see what it says. Rare attacks on Mao's portrait, that's what they were talking about. 2007, the journalists went insane that they put in jail. Tiananmen Square. Eat a heavenly purity. So essentially, it's like a lot of gates go inside. Look at the big beams. People are getting discouraged. The length of the line. Let's wait for me. Chairman Mao Memorial Hall. That's what I did this morning. That was not worth it at all. If you're pressed for time, I would not recommend doing it. It's a complete waste to queue up for that one. You literally can't stop as you walk by the wax-like uh, face of Mao. That's all you see of him in the glass profile view of his face. Thank you.